following up on the on the other individual. Uh, I, of course, on the Newtown uh, situation, we we made one arrest over there, and we have some very good leads that we're following up in, in in that case as well. And and what I want to stress, Elizabeth, is the participation and cooperation that we've gotten from both of these communities, both of them. Uh, people have been telling us what they know. That's a good thing. Now, anybody out there that hasn't already called us and knows something, call us because we, we still need all that information. And they can call Crime Stoppers and remain completely anonymous. But but I think the, the presumption that that some have made that because the, the neighborhood people don't want to talk on camera that they're not talking to us. They are talking to us. And, and, and I think it's a mischaracterization of this community to say there's a don't snitch attitude here or whatever because they don't want to talk to the media. I can, I can understand why they don't want to talk to the media. I, I mean, they, they don't want to put their picture out there and, and all that. And that's why the anonymity of the Crime Stopper program is so vitally important. And so I want to remind everyone they can, they can call Crime Stoppers and remain completely anonymous. But we are certainly moving forward with these investigations, and we're, and we're making some great grant. And do you have a name for that person you have a warrant out for the arrest for? Uh, no, I can't give you that. Okay. Uh, but but uh, and, and let me say this, too, about these two communities. This, this highlights the fact that you can have crime going down and, and still have situations like this occur. Uh, crime in Jacksonville is the lowest it's been since 1983. Crime in the crime in the Brooklyn community is down 20 percent this year, year to day. It's down another five in Newtown, where we had amazing reductions last year. We're even down five percent below that. But that doesn't stop events like this from happening, and that's why the prevention and intervention programs through the through the Jacksonville Children's Commission, through the Journey through PAL, the Police Athletic League, getting through the Don't Miss program here at, at, at Johnson Community Center. That's why these programs are so very important, because what this community has to do is figure out how do you raise young boys and girls to become nonviolent young men and women. That's the challenge we face. And one way you do that is through programs like Don't Miss a Beat, like the Police Athletic League, and, and like many of the programs that are run through the Children's Commission and the uh, journey. And now we also heard a little bit from the mayor today talking about prevention programs, this community organized like the New Black right. Panther Party right. talking about. We call about it PI, the Prevention, Intervention, and Enforcement, PIE. And how important is that to work together? Oh, it's very important. And, and, and I tell you, that's, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of participation uh, from the mayor's office. In fact, Chris Ann is uh, his undersheriff, if you will, uh, you know, his chief of staff. He, he came to our crimes meeting this morning and sat through just to see how, how we're doing things and, and what he could do to support us and look for ways that we can work together through some of the other city departments to prevent crime and make the quality of life in Jacksonville better. And again, do you feel that like you're close to making an arrest in this in this first new uh, Brooklyn case, or just the warrant? Uh, w well, y yes, I, we have the warrant, so it's just a matter of uh, tracking them down. All right, great. Anything else you want to add overall? No, I I, I think uh, you know I, I just want to thank the the Brooklyn community and the Newtown community for all of their help in making these arrests possible. Great, thank you so much.